we know what an option is now and um, and how to use unwrap to uh, to get the the thing inside and um, if it's a sum that's uh, then we'll be fine but if it's a uh, if it's a none then unwrap will cause it to panic and uh, let's like a, uh, let's take a look at the message again uh, so it says uh, thread main panicked at called option unwrap on a none value and then it gives you this uh, this location so line 13 so you can see uh, that's where the problem is and there's uh, there's one method that's um, it's a small upgrade is basically like unwrap except it gives you some more information so you can imagine if you have uh, you know a lot more code here like you know a thousand two thousand lines and uh, you uh, you know you forget what you wrote up here and down here and you want to write yourself a little note to uh, to give some more information then you can uh, use this expect then you put your uh, your message in here so you can say uh, this absolutely needs at least five items to work <clears throat> something 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 and that is your message and then you can uh, you can run that and it says uh, so there you go there is your message to yourself so that is a uh, small upgrade but the um, the best the best way to uh, to work with a with an option is to handle it and handle to handle means to like uh, tell rest what to do when you uh, when you get this or when you get a none or a sum and then uh, pass the value back and uh, one easy way to do that is with with a match statement so let's take this out and we'll just say um, we'll say match take fifth uh, new vec <clears throat> and then so this can give us either a sum or a none so if it's uh, if it's sum and we'll say number and we'll say uh, print line the number is something number and then uh, none will say the vec is too short it must be five items long at a minimum so that will uh, handle it for you for this vec anyway and there it is the vec is too short and then you can uh, can handle it uh, for the other one and now we're repeating code which means we should probably think about maybe writing a function to uh, to handle each of them but anyway this is uh, this is how you do it for one at a time so now you can see this one gives us a none so it gives us this and then this will actually pass back the number so let's uh, so let's put together a function that'll handle everything. So we will, uh, let's see, take fifth. This is fine. So we will add a function. First, we'll delete this. Delete. <clears throat> and we will make this function, we will call it uh, handle option. And inside, it's going to get a uh, my options. And this is going to be a vec of options but it's not just a vec of options it's a vec of options of i32s so you always have to uh, say what kind of option it is so what the value will be if it is sum and then we will give it a vec and for each of those items it's going to match them and now it's going to be uh, some number print uh, oops got a number and then if it's a none then it will say the vec is too short and so that uh, and then these you know we will have to put these into a vec to send it uh, into here so we will uh, first we'll make a uh, we'll call it option vec and we'll just make it a new vec and we won't tell it the type because uh, Rust will figure it out. It will be a vec of options of, y, of i32s. And then we will push our vecs into there. So uh, we will push the results of our vecs 
from take fifth, if you remember this function, which gives us an option. So option vec push, and we will say, so I'm going to close this so you can see everything. Option vec push, uh, take fifth, and new vec. So we'll put that in there. And then we'll also push the uh, take fifth of bigger vec. So now this option vec uh, holds uh, holds these uh, these option results here. Well, I shouldn't say result. That's a different word. Uh, these, uh, yeah, the options we got, the option i32s. And then we will use our handle option function and then put uh, option vec in there. And let's see if that works. And there we go. So it does work. And it, uh, yeah, so it takes the, uh, takes new vec, it puts it into here, generates an option, i32, we put it into our vec, and then for each of those items in the vec, it will check to see if it is some or none. And now we are not crashing anymore, and we get to see um, a perfect output, and uh, we are very, very happy with that.